You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. It's the Davy Mac Sports Program. It's the Davy Mac Sports Program yeah. on Riotcast.com. Yeah, right. <laughs> and here's yeah. your host. Yeah. Dave McDonald. Yeah, baby. Yeah, David. Yeah, baby. David. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Dicks and chicks. Dicks, Dicks and chicks. chicks. Davy Mac Dicks Sports Program live with you on a Wednesday evening. Uh, we're here on the old Ustream, the iTunes, the Riotcast. My name is Eastside Dave McDonald. How about that? Yeah, Dave. Yeah. yeah. With me, as always, Mr. Chris Pepper Stanley. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Oh, thank Pepper. you. Thanks, guys. Oh, he's the man who pushes the buttons and gets the show off to a nice, smooth start. Sean O. Hello. Except for tonight. Sean O. Well, yeah. Shut your mouth. Sean o. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Pepper. I'm calling him out. This, this show got off to a weird, false beginning. I'm calling him out. Oh, yeah. It was you, Stream. wasn't me. And Roy Schaefer. Roy. 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 Special photography and T-shirts for the Davy Mac Sports yeah. Program tonight, provided by Johnny Russo Johnny in the house. Russo. Johnny Russo. Oh, yeah. Russo. 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 That's right, we have our own in-house photographer. How many podcasts can you say have that, Pepe? Zero. None. 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 Feels good sometimes to be the Dave man. Feels good sometimes to have pioneered the world of podcasting. We started back in 1986 with Davy Mac Sports Program, yeah. And now, and we listen. We're happy about it that the the Opie and Anthony show they have their own podcast They're on now. iTunes now. Excellent job. That's exciting. Who else is there? Sam Roberts. He's on uh, iTunes. Is I, he? Yeah, he has a podcast. Bam. And uh, after a private discussion with Mr. E Rock Eric Nagel, he said he would have no less than 18 podcasts by June. <laughs> 17 of them revolving around the Simpsons characters. So I guess there's going to be so like a whole Mo one yeah, episode. One character per podcast? I think uh, one uh, uh, one entire podcast, he's going to be doing the voice of Barney the Drunk. And it's going to be, hi, uh, hi, oh no, this is Doc Nick the Riviera. And you're listening to E-Rock Podcasting Network, everybody. Upstairs live with medical school. Right. So that's exciting. But yeah, I mean, the Opie and Anthony show, of course, friends of ours, we got them started in the business in the uh, late 70s. Me and Pepper said, listen, give these two kids a chance. Give yeah. this uh, Greg Opie Hughes and whatever this other guy is, stolen air conditions or whatever, he's got something. That's what I said to everybody. I said, this Italian, this Italian overlooked the fact that, of course, he clearly is a Nazi supporter and has a way Sympath- to arsenal of sympathize. automatic weapons. Yeah! Overlooked that. He is going to do it. We just got back from the war. Remember that? That's right. In the late 70s. And uh, now they are on the podcast. I think we should get them to Riotcast.com. It's a great and network. If, and like DirecTV, if you uh, you know get like your friend to get DirecTV, you get $10 off your bill. Like okay? a pyramid scheme. That's right. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the Open Anthony show onto Riotcast.com, and I want 75% of... I don't know exactly what we get here for podcasting, but when the down when the windfall happens with cash money, yeah, I want seventy five percent of it. Okay, no one's really making money off of. Why are you dancing? Well, listen, we had a uh, <laughs> excellent sponsor before. What was the sponsor? Scorebigs. Uh, Scorebig.com. Who's our sponsor now? 
uh, Tweaked Audio. Tweakedaudio.com. We need you people to go to tweakedaudio.com and support us. Okay? Davey is the... Promo code, code Davey. It's yeah, seven it styles of earbuds. Wood. Everyone loves the wood. <laughs> it seems like that's the only style that we talk about. Green. Maybe no, there's neon green. I don't think we know many of the, uh, the other six styles. We know that they have wooden earbuds, and we're very happy with that. I live and die by the wood. Yeah. Da. So, <laughs> so that's handsome. it. They're a handsome set of... Uh, Tweakedaudio.com. Yeah, tweaked that's audio. right, Sean. Yeah. Davey <laughs> is the code you put in. There you go. And Make us it. look good. And there you have it. And the, uh, yeah, we're also wearing T-shirts. I feel like we have like a, almost like jumpsuits. Like a, it's like a I feel like we're kind of like the white stripes. We have a lot of black <laughs> and red. We're all wearing black and red, except for Sean O, who yeah. decided not to well, join no, the team. Well, no, he's white and red. That's he'd be like Meg White. Yeah, that's cool. I'm a drummer. <laughs> that's right. Go ahead, Sean O. Then drum for Christ's sake. Put that damn beard down. Prove it. That's just your left hand. Well, and that's what you, Meg did. He doesn't even care anymore. Oh yeah, I know. Meg White, he's you, doing actually he's doing more than Meg ever did because he's drinking while he's playing the drums. That's because she drummed with her titties. <laughs> yeah, they bounced. Size C, baby. C cups. I know because I found one of her bras outside one time when I was talking. Uh, nothing. You, wait, what? Never mind. What? No, no big deal. But we have so much going on. We'll get to these handsome Johnny Russo shirts later on. We want to give him his own special plug. Johnny Russo, one of the world's. Really, uh, foremost, uh, I don't know what you call him, designer, graphic designer, just uh, he's photographer. It, he's just getting it done. Renaissance man, really. You know? um, I was actually listening to Johnny Russo has a podcast too. Oh, nice. By the way, yeah, I was actually listening to the beginning of it. It was very, very good. High energy. He goes like this. He goes, and good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? It's Johnny Mad Dog Russo here live on the podcasting thing. And we got all kinds of t-shirts coming up live on Johnny Mad Dog Russo. It's the t-shirt podcast. We have all kinds of t-shirts, black t-shirts. We got yellow t-shirts. We got white t-shirts. All kinds of t-shirts on your Johnny Mad Dog Russo t-shirt company. Any long sleeve shirts? Hey. Love long sleeve shirts. And then uh, Mike Francesa, his former co-host... Apparently, Johnny Russo was uh, actually used to uh, do radio on WFAN. Oh. Mike Francesa said, I, what happened to Johnny Mad Dog Russo? I know him when he was on the fan, and now he's peddling T-shirts. It's like a Jackie Martling thing. You think Chris Russo? Am I thinking of Chris Russo? Johnny, do you have any kind of radio show whatsoever? No, dude, Mac, I do not. He's a goddamn liar. <sighs> we look like that, idiots. That calls for the Henry Rollins song, Liar. Right, Roy? Right. Because Johnny's a liar. <laughs> okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how it goes. I remember that more being spoken a, words. I remember that being a fun video. Sounds great on the organ. Do you like the fact that Tiger Woods and Sergio Garcia want to eat each other's balls? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's great to see a golfer beef. Um, it's because, what, 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 how did it start? one of the more lethargic sports feuds that you can have, but I'll take anything. Well, it started because uh, Tiger Woods dared to take a club out of his bag. Well, this is what happened. Uh, they, they were playing together. They hate each other. They have for years and years. Yeah. And um, uh, Sergio Garcia was about to shoot, and he claims that in his backswing, when he gets to the top of his swing, uh, Tiger took out a club. He's 50 yards away, and uh, when he takes out the club, people in the gallery start clapping. And that distracted Sergio Garcia, who just, boom. I mean, it was just a ridiculous Caddyshack-type shot. Yeah. And so then he goes, it. he says, uh, you know, this Tiger, I don't know, what's the deal with him? I mean, come on, I'm in my backswing, and, and you take the club out, you get the crowd. It's very distracting. And then Tiger said, um, he said, uh, I don't know what that little spick is talking about. Um, but he said, Are you um, sure he said he threw out a He didn't say that, but he did say. Then why say that? He did say. Uh, only hurt us. He did say uh, that Sergio Garcia just always complains. Bam. <laughs> right, Roy? That's right, Dave. That's a zinger. And yeah, that's right. And then uh, Sergio Garcia says, "Well, I, I stand by my statement." And then Tiger says, "He," and then Tiger says, oh, "Listen, I took the club out because the referees there, the officials, told me it was cool to take the club out." Yeah. And now it comes out that the officials there are saying, "Well, we never told Tiger to take the club out." So now they're calling Tiger a liar, and they say, <laughs> and the officials at the club say Tiger lacks character. So he can't get it. He can't get away from this. We know how Tiger plays. Is that one of the things they said? Tiger is going to be the, um, ironically, the Ty Cobb of of golf, which I guess means he's going to hate himself 
being that he's part black. But and then his mother got killed. yeah. What I'm trying to say is that he's going to be a bad he, his his bad sportsmanship now is that he you can't have a Tiger Woods golf tournament without some kind of person calling up the TV stations, telling on him, reporting that Tiger's an a hole, all this and that, you know. He's, yeah, he, well, he's always going to look bad. Just Well, first of all, he wasn't very well-liked before the sex scandal, and the sex scandal gave everyone just carte blanche to do say whatever they wanted about the guy, really. Carte blanche. Carte please. blanche. Pronou- it's a French word. It's carte blanche. I took two years of French um, at school, and I, I failed. You realize you mis- I spoke failed. the word French. Yeah, I failed miserably both years. Switched over to Espanol, and that was much easier for the Dave man. Me gusta gusta los chicharrones. Uh, well, chicharrones are really good. I really like pork rinds. That stayed with me. I know other little things. Biblioteca. So, <laughs> library. Uh, what, what is a building I've never been in, if we combine <laughs> it with Jeopardy? Don't you When's the last biblioteca? time you've been to a library? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, with the computer, why do they... Wait, so let's just blow those buildings up. I, you know what? I, I, I don't want... Let's just take that out. Let's edit that out. Yeah, nope, nope. I, I don't want any kind of uh, governmental uh, threat. Going on I guess here. college was the last time I was in a library. College, yeah. The college library. You know? Banging some broad, right? Yeah, banging some broad in the health book section. God damn. Chris Pepper Stanley getting it all. Oh, people did have sex in the library all the time. Right? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. They did at Fordham University, dogs. Eh? Oh, yeah. One of those names was Davey Mack. <laughs> Not true, but I did oh. jerk off. I jerked off at least thrice. In the library, it seems low at for a to college what? library. I did bang, I did bang a girl in uh, I don't know some little reptile <laughs> article in that National Geographic or something. I have a twisted. Anyway, uh, I did bang a girl in um, in uh, the laundry section of the laundromat in the basement mm-hmm. where all the kids do uh, laundry. Very late one evening, and I'm not embarrassed to say Were it was drunk? after many many drinks, and it went soft on me. So, so you didn't even finish. Did he finish? Did he I mean, Peppy, this thing was like goddamn wet noodle, baby. You sound like you're bragging about that. Woo! Dude, now it really... I, I, got, I had this girl all ready to go. Yeah. And I gave her a nice limb dick on the leg. And so I'm like, if I can just rub it more and more, and this is maybe a clean something show. will happen. This is a clean family oriented show. She was show. like, what are you doing? She was actually English. Isn't that weird? Constantly with English women. Yeah, I know. Euro- European women like me. Not so much with the Americans. Yeah, I don't know how it happened like that, but that's the truth. But she, uh, what, what is this? You can't get your little lavender strike, can you? Wait, lavender? I don't what? know. It's, they have all kinds of little fancy words for this. Mm. Oh, let me see the little turtle. When is it going to crawl out of his shell? <laughs> oh, come on, Yank. Let's go, big bag American. Oh, it's, it's like a soggy fruit roll up is trying to get inside me, that's ain't it? It's really insulting. Isn't, isn't it? it? Oh, uh, uh, look it, I'm gonna tell all me friends that Davy Mark can't get a hold on his ejaculate, isn't it? Prem ejaculation, isn't it? You can't even get that. Now, I'd, I'd actually give you 50 points. At least prem ejaculation gives a hold on, isn't it? 50 points. It's starting to sound like Austin Powers. Hey, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, that happened, dudes. That was the last time. The last time I ever did that again. What? Drink until you couldn't? The next day, that was a Saturday night. The next day, I went to Yankee Stadium, got there nice and early, jerked off in the bathroom. And that, my friends, is the true story. In the Yankee Stadium. I'm like, I can't wait till Jesse Tartable comes out and hits. And everyone was saying, <laughs> Jesse Tartable hasn't been on the team in four years. So that really threw me for a loop. Anyway, so this Tiger Woods and Sergio, uh, Sergio Garcia... Sergio Garcia, all I know is he's a gigantic choke artist. That well, yeah, he was what he was years and years he ago. Dropped the eighth after after that incident. Like he, he just tanked horribly. Yeah. After oh that. yeah. Well, he he he, he had a quadruple bogey, which <laughs> does not happen in God. professional golf. <laughs> he literally did the tin cup thing, which no, this was on uh, that was like on Friday or Saturday, and then on Sunday is when he did the tin cup thing. He literally was 170 yards from the hole, hits it into the water, gets a drop, same place. Hits in the water again. And people are just like, oh, yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> uh, apparently, Tom York is in the house. What, why is And some weird Radiohead music is being played. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> sorry, David. Yeah, you're goddamn tootin', you're sorry. I'm trying to talk about Sergio goddamn Garcia and uh, goddamn Johnny Greenwood comes in. That, what? That wasn't the real guitars there. 
Johnny Greenwood does ele- the electronical part of Radiohead, dude. Get to know it. You ever seen a Radiohead concert in person? <laughs> no, I've never seen him live. I have. It's really odd the way you're looking at me. Five times. <laughs> I have a Radiohead tattoo on my arm. I'm not afraid to admit it. I love him. There's nothing shameful. shameful. So I don't mind if, Roy, you're going to play some Radiohead type music, but just give the Dave man a heads up, please. No, that's the proper music for golf. Okay, well, let's hear it again, Roy. More like video games. <laughs> Should be blowing something up in, I, this, in space. More like rape music. Let's do some kind of drug. What? I don't know, a rape tape drug. Rape G- tape? GHB? Mm. Yeah, let's get some of that. And look at this rape tape. Why would you want that? Here's what I want you to go. I do. I, I, I want you to get me a 16th of marijuana or an eighth or something like that. <laughs> All you have to give it's me money it's for a big it. Difference. Okay. Do you have it nearby? No, I don't. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on, right? Pepper, do you think the Redskins should change their name? No. This is a, the new thing because everyone, no. had, this has to get brought up and this guy and that guy and there's a big petition with Native Americans saying it's insensitive and it's all over the place and the Redskins owner, Daniel Snyder, says, never, never will I change the name. Dan Snyder's a bad person, yeah. but if it's his team, if he doesn't want to change it, no one's forcing him to change it, then he shouldn't change it. We had to change our school name, the Red uh, St. John's Red Men. You went to St. John's? I did. I didn't know that. The university. To the, to the Red Storm. To the Red Storm. Which is, yeah, a horrible name. It's a, bo- it's a horrible name. You're right. What are you going to do? And what's the deal? You, you can't say uh, Red? I, I don't understand. No, Why is that offensive? It's racist because they're red-skinned. I don't see that, really. Well, that was the racist They're term back the then, was that they were the redskin. I just remember on Road Rules 1, uh, that has nothing uh, there to was an this. engine, Shelly, or Shell B, I forget, but she did not have very red skin, I as far as I could call. Yeah, if they called them leather faces, that would be more. <laughs> That's a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. The Washington leather faces? You get a little guy with like a little mascot with a chainsaw, chainsaw. and doing that whole thing. Just cutting up opposing fans. I'd love that. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't care. It doesn't bother me, anything. You know, and you could say, well, you're not Native American. But if you really think about it, the Notre Dame fighting Irish, that is, it looked through a 21st century eyes, you, one could say that's offensive. Because it really implies all Irish people do is get drunk and fight. That's well, why it's the fighting Irish. Let, let's not kid ourselves and say, oh, it's, it's just about spirit. It's about Irish people they get drunk and they fight. Here's the Notre Dame fighting Irish. Do I take it any offense to that? Absolutely not. I, I could care less. What about the Cleveland Browns? Got a racist. It's a uh, it's a racist feces. People are made of poop. Don't like the Browns. The Browns were named after a guy, Shano. They were named after Paul Brown. Oh. It had nothing to do with African Americans. If that's what you were insinuating, you dirty wow. racist. Now I know. Well, I mean, well, he's dirty just like the Browns is what he is. Oh my Get God. it? Oh, yeah. Let's high five that one. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Well, what color is is poo? Brown. High five, well, man! Not all the time. Sometimes it's... Yeah. Sometimes black. If you drink Guinness, right? Or- nice black poo. Yeah, wipe it. <laughs> right? Is that how you wipe? That's how I wipe. I was making so much noise today at Sirius XM. That's right. I had a big, huge meeting. How'd it go? Oh, my God. You, you are looking at the new vice president, vice president <laughs> of promotions. Really? Mc- yep. So you're going to be handling all the town halls? And, and hold on. The- you're also looking at the new program director of the Opie and Anthony channel. You took over for Rob Cross. You're looking at the new head of Mad Dog Radio. That's a lot it's for what, one guy to be what, doing. What happened was like, I got Rob Cross, Gary Schoenwetter, and Steve Torrey, and I shot them all in the bathroom. And their bodies are there, and now I'm going to take on their jobs. Just Thank because, you, Roy. Just because you kill someone doesn't mean you take their job. It usually means you go to prison. It's not the way corporations work. I hate to describe the way. It's very cutthroat, right, Sean? Yeah. You he, work for Skinny Man Corporations. Yeah, you need a lawyer. It's really yeah. weird. Mm-hmm. doesn't make any sense. So that's, that's the way it goes. Well, I can't wait to... Uh, can't wait to see your first day of the job, boss. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Well, listen, yeah, you're, you're my underling now, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. So don't you screw up. You give the Dave man what he wants, and okay? That? If, if that means you have to walk, you know, a few blocks, give the Dave man some... <laughs> Dick is going to be all over that. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I'm giving you exactly three hours to give Dickie Jr. Or wait, I'm Dickie Sr. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dickie Jr.'s your son. You gotta get three hours till you get Dickie Sr. lit up. All right. Dude. Yeah. 
Burn it down, right? Oh, yeah. Gonna get nice and high for the pepper. Gonna watch our fish Fridays. And when he ain't looking, I'm gonna Instagram. Pepper's big fat tuna can talk. Gonna take pictures of Pepper tuna can talk. It is it. Put them online. Hey, everybody, welcome to the kickcock.com. No one buys that URL. Anyway, I got to tell you, uh, so that's a couple things going on in the world of sports. The other thing, uh, the New York Knickerbockers. They got this, man. They are the worst team. They got this. Ever. J.R. Smith is clearly playing wild drunk. Well, well he, he is terrible. So? He, him and Kenyon Martin are quarantined from the rest of the team. <laughs> they need to flow. be. Uh, J.R. Smith needs to not play. It's not even about cutting down his minutes. Enough. Enough is enough with the J.R. Smith well, already. On, the, on all the back pages of the sports uh, papers here, uh, the papers here in uh, New York, J.R. Smith says, yeah, it's just my fault we're losing. It is. And the, he's right. It is. He's right. I saw in this series, he is like 26 for 81. Keep in mind, if people uh, don't know, the, the Indiana Pacers were not supposed to win this series, but they are leading the Knicks three games to one. It looks really bad. Okay? Now, think about that. So, you're talking about 81 shots in four games. That's 20 shots a game yeah. for a guy who doesn't even start. Hey, sixth man award. And on top of that, out of those 20, you know, six shots, so he's making five or six shots a game. Yeah, I mean it's every single game. He's horrible. No, he's 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 totally falling apart. I get maybe it's a sickness. Maybe he's a drunk. Maybe Rihanna yeah. sucked the soul out of him. Yeah, not like that. I know she sucked the jizz. Mm. No, but the point is, Pep. Oh my God, this is very sexy, Roy. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Suck it, Rihanna. Suck it. We should start making dubstep remixes. Come on, Rihanna. Suck it. Suck that J.L. Smith. Suck it nice. Lick the pussy. That's the pity. Put needles in Peppa's dick. What? <laughs> huh? Put them in. Sometimes I have a fantasy where I'm oh, in a room wanna... and I'm in the corner <laughs> jerking off and Rihanna's putting needles in Pepper's dick hole. <laughs> and that's what I jerk off to sometimes. You picture that in your head? Mm-hmm. Would you be upset if I said that sometimes you make your way in and it's a kind of a weird <laughs> situation? Yeah. That would be weird. Would that be weird or... This, this I'm saying there's, there's a pussy in the room. She's just watching us. <laughs> the straight, No, the strange thing is these conversations happen off the air too. <laughs> That's what makes it really uncomfortable. Continuation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what makes. Oh my God! I didn't. I we need. I need people to go to uh, my Twitter or wherever. Go to uh, was it thestandnyc.com. Standnyc and uh, thestandnyc.com. Click on shows. June eighteenth is the Davy Mac movie thon. It's going to be we we Pepper and I sat down to the set list. Twenty five of the greatest videos, the best of the best. <laughs> The Davy Mac videos, sometimes starring Pepper and Sean O and Roy Schaefer and my children and dogs and all kinds of people are in these videos. And we're going to play them and we're just going to play them and drink. And we need you. We, we're going to get there early. The thing starts at 8 o'clock. But if you, I'm going to get there at least at 6.30, maybe 6.15. We're going to have a raffle. We're going to maybe have a raffle. Yep. And the main thing is to buy the tickets, $15.00. But you're, you're contributing to the artistry of the Dave Man, I guess. I don't know. You're going to have a good time. How about that? The Davey Mac movie thon. And June, might, eight, June yeah. 18th is also my brother's Tuesday. birthday. Your brother. What's his name? James. Here's what I'm going to do. I met James outside Belmont Racetrack Bam. one day. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put him on the list. Please. The list of people who still have to pay $15. <laughs> All right. But it's a list. So he can say, like, I'm on the list. All right. You know it's what I mean? To pay. Yeah. Right. Well, it's, yeah, it's a list to pay. Most people are going to be on that list. It's actually really No nice. offense. Uh, that list also includes um, my wife, 
Chris Pepper Stanley. Really? Um, uh, someone named Sean Barry. Yeah, that's me. And another, uh, Roy Harder. Oh. So all those people are going to be on the to pay list. To pay? To pay. I literally have to pay to go. You have this. to pay. And then um, on the not uh, pay list, Johnny Russo, oh. Fast Freddy. Fast Freddy doesn't have to pay. Correct. He hasn't been on the show in years. Mark Zito. What? Zito, the little retarded kid who calls up the Open Anthony show. Was one. Uh, yeah, one of the many. Bobo? Right. He, he's on the not pay list. And um, anyone who ever fought in WW2, especially for the German side, that's on the not pay list. So yeah. There you go. So Nazis, Fast Freddy, Johnny Russo, right. and Zito. They're on the not pay list. Um, yeah. Chris Stanley, Roy Schaefer, Sean Barry. They're going to have to pay $15. Don't forget your wife. And you know what? In fact, Actually, eighteen dollars. Okay, so I'm pay more for it. We're on the show. Three really? more dollars. We're in the video because I I'm in the majority of the video. Yeah. It's out of twenty five. Like I'm in twenty. But, but it's a special kind of night. You're going to be paying a. So it's like this is a very special list. You pay three more dollars, but there's not a lot of people. Most people are only going to pay the fifteen. You guys are paying the eighteen. So it's like whoa, big shots in the house. Just think about it like that. You don't always think about things so negatively. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going now. Okay. So there you have it. So uh, go to the standnyc.com or you go to my Facebook page, Facebook slash Eastside Dave or Twitter at Eastside Dave. The, the, the link is there. So just go find it. And please go. Come on. Get your tickets. June 18th. That's going to be good. Huh? Come on, Roy. Give me some music while I'm plugging this goddamn shit. There you go. I love it. Yeah. Beautiful. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, Miami Heat, they're on a roll, even though Dwayne Wade is hurt and all this nonsense. But yeah. they don't care. My, Miami Heat is just, they are so much better than Do they than not need him? They don't need him to, to close it up. They're up three games to one. And uh, they don't need LeBron's it. just getting dominating in that last game. He's just getting nasty. He's putting it back on. LeBron doesn't even, LeBron hasn't even had to play hard, really. That's crazy. In, in, in order to, you know, LeBron, every night it's 27 points, 10 rebounds, 7 or 8 assists. Every night. And, with the, and a lot of times in this series with the Bulls, and certainly in their first round series, with with the Heat, uh, you know, up by twenty in the fourth quarter. So LeBron's sitting a lot of these games, Hanging and he's out. still getting all these points. Oh. nasty! And boards for that matter. And they're gonna get a bunch of rest coming right? into that next series. When I still, still my prediction's still alive. The the uh, Knicks and seven. Whoa. Yours is dead out of Knicks and six. I, I think the Knicks. I well, hope Pepper, Pepper. I'm with you on this. Me and you. Yeah, Knicks I and, remember. Knicks and seven. seven. Yeah. I said right. Knicks and six. Yeah. So did Roy. I absolutely did not. I said yeah. you and Roy. Knicks Hicks and six. and six, referring to Indiana. Hmm. The people there are Hicks. I said Hicks and six. Go check the tapes. Hicks and six is what I said. Do you like lying constantly? I, I, what kind of life? What kind go of life? Go check the tape. Have? Here's the tape. Ready? <laughs> Hi, Peppa. This is from two weeks ago. My prediction is Hicks and Six. That's right. The Indiana Pacers will beat the New York Knicks in six games. Back to the show. Okay, and we're back, and we're live now. That wasn't a recording. I think it was. I don't know. I mean, Sean O pressed the button, it looked like, I think. Anyway. He's just wrong again, that's all. Yeah. He's very wrong. Um, OKC, they're down in Memphis, three Done. games to one. No Westbrook, no OKC. Even though Kevin Durant's, you know, the man scoring, almost won the scoring title again. Uh, I didn't expect the Grizzlies to come out this strong. I just, or do you think it's just the weakness of OKC? I think the Grizzlies actually are yeah. strong. Yeah. OKC team. has no one. They should have never traded James Harden. That was mm -hmm. a gigantic mistake. Pay yeah. the guy what he wants. Keep him on the team. Because in sports, guess what happens? Injuries, they do happen. And they happen all the time. Yeah. And if a player goes down of Westbrook's caliber, Harden would be there. And everyone, and they weren't even good this good, as good in the regular season. They were very good. I think they won 60 games. But everyone saw they were not as good in the regular season this year without Harden. Nope. And with Westbrook down. And I, I, I got to be honest. I'm what? sick of watching the San Antonio Spurs. It's like they're just <laughs> one of those teams. Maybe it's like the whole San Antonio thing. You it just like makes me like think of like I'm like I have to like watch a, a tumbleweed you know moving past an adobe. I, I don't I don't need it. I don't I don't need to watch that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the I southwestern landscape. I still like the Spurs. Adobe. I've been to New Mexico, baby. I've been to Albuquerque. Okay, we went there family vacation. I was 13 years old. Went from Flagstaff, saw the Grand Canyon to Albuquerque. All screwed up on peyote, bro. How old were you? 13. And I was like, mommy. This is so weird. That sounds like a family but vacation I, to me. I, I'm really high. 
Uh, I think we should make out. With your mother. I found out long ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up on the hill and holiday go. Oh, holiday roll. Whoa. Be nimble and Jack be quick. Oh. Jack went over the Jap instead. Oh. Holiday Road. Oh. Holiday Road. One more. Holiday Road. Holiday Road. Just check the stream real quick. I, I mean, the text. If you look at the text and people are typing, then they'll say the stream is still there. And if it is, then we're in good shape. Either way, this is for iTunes and Riotcast dogs. I'm sorry if the stream went down, but that's you streams. Goddamn big dick of a deal, right, Peppy Hamburger? No, that, that statement didn't make any sense. <laughs> Does it look right. good, Sean? Yeah, it seems to be, but okay. the, uh, I'm getting some complaints online. Let me check it out. All right, well, hey. Sean's on it, guys. Don't worry. We about apologize, it. and, what? you know, uh, but that's Ustream's business. It's cool, I got this, guys. It's not Skinny Man. You're not even in front of a computer, Roy. Skinny Man has more equipment than Gene Hackman in the conversation. Uh, oh. If there's anything that ever happens, yes. it's on Ustream's uh, end. That's it's right. not on Skinny Man. Um, but as long as the uh, the podcast, then this is just more uh, reasons for people to uh, listen to subscribe to the podcast. So that's going on with the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder and the Memphis Grizzlies and Spurs three two. I am. Praying to Jamal Jesus Golden that the Warriors, and I think I'm gonna just gonna go all. I'm gonna I, I, not only am I hoping that the Warriors beat the Spurs, but I would like I would love it if they took the whole goddamn thing. Really, Golden State, they no way they take take the whole thing, man. Well, the, the whole team's one dude. They have only lost one game in their arena in the playoffs. Only one game, okay. And uh, they've played very, very well. Is the next game you know, in San Antonio? Uh, no, no, no. Next game's in, in, in. Yeah, is 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 back with it, the Warriors' home arena. So we, you know, they can just take that to Game Seven. Anything can happen to Game Seven. I mean, if if Ginobili gets hurt or Tony Parker re-injures himself, Duncan goes cold, boom, they're past the Spurs. And then, then you got a little Warriors Memphis Grizzlies thing. And I'm telling you one thing: the NBA they are scared out of their minds because, you know, it, they have they're they're looking at a Miami Heat, Indiana Pacers Eastern Final. That's horrible TV ratings. Yeah. Horrible. They are, must be so angry. They're just praying and, for the Knicks to get, pull this out. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I will not be surprised if you start seeing some fishy calls around game six. I think the Knicks will have to take game five on their own accord. But if they can, you know, and that's in the garden. So if they can get yeah. back to Indiana, do not be surprised if somewhere. Because <laughs> that's the one thing the NBA has always had about them for years and years. David Stern, before many of the other uh, uh, sports commissioners, maybe not Pete Rozelle, but uh, other guys, has always understood the value of television and the value of superstars and knows, listen, Miami, New York, Carmelo, LeBron, I mean, this is what, this is what we were supposed to get. And plus, you, you know, you still have Jason Kidd, who is... Jason Kidd has not scored a point in eight goddamn basketball games. The whole team's falling apart. And it's not like Jason Kidd, you know, he's... He, Jason Kidd has a much more minimized role, but he's still playing 20 minutes a game, 20 to 25 minutes a game, right? Yeah. yeah. He's out there. What are you doing? 
You don't score a point? He hasn't scored a basket in the, eight games. Yeah, man, the whole team's gone cold. Even There's no, nothing is working. Carmelo is barely, what is he shooting? 50, if that. He's shooting 35 most of the time. It's The last game was, was ridiculous. The Knicks didn't show up. That one of them. It's ridiculous, man. How are we, Sean? All good, baby. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, Sean. Turn that vine off, Dave. <laughs> um, Come on, Jason Kidd needs to retire. Kmart was a great acquisition. He's looking old now. And this is... Well, we I, knew the whole team. I, I want to give you credit. I'm going to give Goodness. myself credit. I want to give myself credit. Yeah, that's something new. You almost, let, you almost gave Pepper credit. Yeah, there. yeah. Freudian slip. I, I want to give myself yeah. credit. Yeah. Four or five months ago, I did when the Knicks were playing really well, I did say, yeah, but the thing is, the Knicks have to win this year because their team is, consists of Jason Kidd and Kenyon Martin Marcus Camby. and Camby at the time. No, dude, and no. remember, uh, what's his face? Rasheed Wallace, who they've since released. But, you know, he was a part of the team. So this is a total win-now team. To yeah. go down to the Indiana Pacers in the second round, unacceptable. Well, the start of the... Unacceptable. The start of the season, we all knew that. That, that we all knew that they were old, and they, they, they did that well. Is a surprise. Uh, let me tell you something. Pretty soon, okay, New York Knickerbockers, like Chevy Chase, your asses are going on vacation. Okay. Well, I found out long ago. Whoa! Whoa. How to hit the hobby in the hippie hole? Whoa! It's holiday roll. Can and the tuna car. Roy Schaefer and a big car. Oh, it's Holiday Road. Oh, 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 oh. Holiday Road. Oh, 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 oh. One more. Holiday Road. Oh, 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 oh. Holiday Road. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we can't do it every time. I simply say. You know, I just like the vacation. Yeah, but we can't do it every time. All right, movie start. Not though. gonna be doing it all the time for crying out loud. No, we're not, Sean O. Don't give him the goddamn drum cymbal. No, let's one more. No, one more time. This is this is what is this? This ain't some national lampoons podcast. This is David Max Sports Program podcast, baby. The online version. And I'll tell you one thing about uh, uh, Carmelo Anthony. Uh, the heat is going to not Miami Heat, but the pressure of the media is going to drive him insane. Mark my words, little Davy Mac prediction. He's then going to want to be traded out of New York. Why wouldn't he's, he? He's, 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 he's not going to be able to withstand it because it, it it a lot of it is Carmelo's fault. Not necessarily that Carmelo is a great great scorer, but the whole offense. Is four guys go away and let Carmelo go on the right side of the basketball court and do something. Yeah, jumper. And that means that Mike Woodson, the Knicks head coach, needs to go too. He, that guy sucks. He's a, <laughs> he's a horrible X's and O's coach. Maybe, you know, at one point in the season he was getting them to play hard. But he, the playoffs is all about adapting. It's and, and, and in basketball, the head coach has a very direct thing. In baseball, hey, listen, sometimes teams hit, sometimes they don't. Right. You know? In football, all right, maybe a little bit of clock management, but you know, head coaching, even in that. But, but hockey. In, in basketball, hockey, the guys, the, you send out the first line, you send out the second line, you send out the third line. Come on, hockey, come on. What about bowling? In bowling, you're talking to the guy, hey, get a strike, get a gutter ball. Come on, come on, stop it. You know. But golf. In golf, you're telling the guy, hey, go swing the golf swing and put the ball in the you know hole and everything like that. Okay, huh? like you know. What about tennis? In tennis, you're telling the guy, you throw the little yellow ball up in the air, serve, nice quick serve, volley, volley back and forth, you know, hit the ball and everything like that. What about Australian football? Australian rules football. Ball, you're telling the team, you know, make get the ball over the line. The little guy in the white hat goes like this, shoots the you know imaginary guns, and I don't know what the hell that means. Okay, what about rugby? in rugby, you're telling the guys, you know, go everyone, get each other, you know, get the bad, get the football, you know, run, 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 fall down together, jump on each other's back. But you know, you know, it's not the same thing as basketball. But shuffleboard, you know? it's shuffleboard. You're telling everyone, like, get that puck, get the thing, shuffle it over, put it on the board, everything like that. But it's not basketball. Okay. Anyway, the point is this: Th that you got have, That should have gone on longer. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> waiting. It was like you got it. <laughs> Play shot. No. Don't. Don't say anymore. Yeah. Blame Sean O. Yeah. You weren't part of yeah, it. You, I'm trying to were, make a you point. Him on. You I'm trying him to on. make a point. In basketball, the head, no, the head coach has a very direct 
responsibility to the outcome of the game. Mike Woodson needed to sit JR's black ass on the bench a long time ago. And he has let that guy shoot the Knicks out of the playoffs. Yes, Carmelo Anthony's guy to shoot his 25 shots because no one else can make a bucket. But J.R. Smith doesn't need to be Carmelo Anthony part two. He's not as good as Carmelo Anthony. Well, he got. I, I, I said this on last week or the week before. He thinks he is because he got the six man award and he blew up, you know, in, in the first. It's series. up to Mike Woodson to say you're not. Well, Mike Woodson is, is an intermediary coach. He, no, he's not, Pepper. He's been named the head coach. PJ Carlissimo was an intermediate coach. It's, he still feels like. I know he was named the head coach, yeah. but still. Well, actually, he signed the contract. He got it. He's a full time contract. He signed, a, he signed a deal with the Knicks extension from last year. It's after last year, after yeah, the Knicks yes, yes, I know. Yes, Dave's right. After Dan, after Dantoni uh, got kicked out, uh, he, he is another first, piece of garbage. He is, but the, we fir- he is the first man to teach uh, Stoudemire defense. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Amari Stoudemire. So, yeah, he's great. He taught me defense. The first how, time in my career. How, how old are you? Ten like thirty one, thirty two. Ten to eleven years in your career. Wouldn't my, I would not. You know, put put Carmelo Anthony and put Mike Woodson on permanent vacation because uh, that's what exactly what they need. Okay. A serious vacation is what they need. For Christ's sakes. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't even... Well, I found out long ago. Whoa. Whoa. Mike Woodson, head coach. Whoa. 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 Uh, Mike Woodson. Mike Woodson had cost. Okay, stop it, Roy. Wait, stop it. Stop it. Repetitive. Wasn't my idea, Pepper. Um, it's like he controls you, and you shouldn't let that happen. Yeah, exactly, Roy. No one controls the shave, man. No, you do. We're gonna talk about these shirts that Johnny Russo made. Finally. Johnny Russo has made us shirts that, as you can see, every member of the Davy Mac Sports Program, if you're watching on Ustream, has, uh, is uh, wearing. And they look damn good. They're fantastic shirts. Um, maybe, Sean, I'll stand close to the camera so people can see. Can do. Uh, and, then on, take, and then take it off. You can buy them from Russo, R-U-S-S-O, dot bigcartel.com. And basically what they are is, um, you, like, uh, it's like Benjamin Franklin. And then there's no face there, and it's very, it's a very cool look. Oh, that's dope. And, it's and Johnny Russo, good. what's what's the, exactly the um, symbolism of why are we wearing these faceless presidents? The, uh, the faceless presidents are uh, kind of uh, without getting too deep in the concept and whatnot. Uh, Sean mentioned some earlier that basically uh, America is f-ing us on the ass. Oh, and, uh, market, oh, market. market. I mean, my God! Something it's like a Tall Bronx Johnny came in here for crying out loud. This ain't sex extravaganza. I mean, it's a great country, but you guys definitely know what I'm getting now. You guys can relate. You're, you know what? I'm starting to see it your way. We're all very Screw broke, Johnny. Sc- what? Well, you guys have David a flag, I. Roy? <laughs> Pepper's got some lighter fluid. <laughs> Let's burn this sit down. And I said sit, so you don't have to mark it. And and what else is bad about America? The reality shows? Because I'd be on board if if you have a problem with that. I can't watch I, one I more goddamn the, reality show. I think reality show. shows are a greatest source of information, actually. Oh, really? This is interesting. How so? It's, uh, it's oh. the most factual information <laughs> that, that one could come across at this day. <laughs> you're just a very confusing man, Johnny. What, what's Sean? Oh, you're, you're doing like a male modeling thing. <laughs> well, that sounds very interesting. Um, I can tell you what. They're very quality made. I can tell that this is not going to, you know, the colors aren't going to run and everything and like sewn. that. Sure, yeah, Hand shirts. sewn yeah, by you, Johnny? Uh, there's only and 100 numbered. shirts. Yeah, 100 shirts of each style ever made that will ever release. And uh, each one is custom numbered. One, two, three of 100, and so on and so forth. And every single shirt, ironically, Johnny put this in the plug. All shirts made in the USA. Correct. But ironically, then, the shirts are also about how awful America is. Correct. I love it. <laughs> uh, that, that's the way I feel often. I feel very ambivalent. I'm like, this is the, this is, the, you know, yeah, this country gave me lots of freedoms. But then they, they lock me up every time that, you know, I go outside a nursery school with no clothes on. And I'm like, screw that, well, baby. That, you think a, that, you know. That's a crime. That's just well, being. Exactly, Pepper. That's just being a pedophile. Take away my freedoms. It's being a pedophile. You're right. Thanks, Pepper, for agreeing with me for once. I know. Take never away my you. freedoms. You're a ped. Just because Pepper and I have child porn. On our goddamn computers. You take me out of that. Doesn't mean right. you have to put us on vacation you or something. To really get rid of that in the podcast. I don't want no, to. I wasn't saying it. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Please, not again. Just. Did you see Bryce Harper uh, break his nose crashing into the wall? Did you oh see yeah, that? yeah. He just went straight into it. He yeah, hit hard. He doesn't. He doesn't know about that warning track, huh? No, he he. And the the funny thing was, it, it was one of those walls where yeah, it's like a it's like a screen. It's totally lit up. It's like crashing into a yeah. pinball machine. Yeah. It's <laughs> really hard not to see that, you know. And 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 he just went. Full on right into this thing, and then has to do this. You know, I like Bryce Harper, but he always has to do like uh, ultra man. Oh, he's thing. a tough dude. And he's, he's like, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna play the game when I own it differently, dudes. I'm gonna, if I have to crash into ten walls, I'm gonna crash into ten walls. Well, then you're kind of you're slightly retarded. Yeah, that's, aren't you? that's being a bad <laughs> baseball player. Yeah, that's that's it's jeopardizing yourself and the team. You don't cra- You think Willie Mays crashing the walls? Yeah, he hit no, the, he hit the ground. And then that ball rolled right away from him. It's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, yeah, terrible you, baseball. It's a clown you, question, bro. You don't crash into if you can help it. You know, and yes, that's what the warning track is there for. You feel the dirt. Uh oh. Some. And he wasn't even. I mean, I, and by the way, that's just also knowing your outfield. I don't know if he thought like they were playing at Yosemite, Yosemite or something, but like he thought there was like thirty more feet of outfield there. He's probably drunk. <laughs> they all are. That's my point. So nothing wrong with that. Damn it! Now this uh, song is in my head, and it, it's Which weird. It, it's well, it's it's I don't want to say, but it's written by I think Lindsey Buckingham <laughs> of Fleetwood Mac, and uh, I think it was used for a movie. I found out long ago, oh, life is on on Hollywood Road, oh, Hollywood Road, oh, 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 Hollywood Road, oh. Pepper's mad, his arms are folded. Oh. Davy Mac and Black Till Doted. Oh. It's not a verb. <laughs> oh. All right, please, please, please. please. Hollywood Road. Stop it. Don't you forget the first about my big dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, so a lot of a lot of nonsense is is going on. Yeah, with the songs and whatnot on the show. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's all about the NBA playoffs right now. Yeah, that's all that matters. I'm very happy, uh, very happy about what's going on with the Heat because you know wh- whether you like or hate the Heat, you know, I like seeing LeBron James in the Eastern Conference Finals at least, and probably even the NBA Finals. You know, God forbid, imagine if the NBA had the Pacers against, say, the Memphis Grizzlies for the actual finals. That's David Stern. The, the last thing we would ever see of David Stern is, is, is the, the uh, Bud White. Was that the guy's name? Bud, 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 Bud uh, R. Bud Dwyer. R. Bud Dwyer, yeah. David Stern would do that type of nonsense. Or, yeah, it'll be the end of uh, Sean Shank Redemption. He's the warden. <laughs> <laughs> he would not. And this is his last year, by the way. This is Good. his last year as commissioner. Good riddance. Was that like an anti Jew thing because no, he's Jewish? It's, no, I didn't come into it at all. That's maybe you thinking that. Well, I mean, I'm saying maybe if you said that, we you know start some controversy. We get more subscribers or something like Being that. Being anti-Semitic doesn't help you. I know, I know. But controversy does, right, Roy? It does. It's really true. Racism helps, huh? A little bit. All right, go ahead, Roy. Just give us a little taste of maybe some controversy. <laughs> Shiza. That's Roy. Oh. oh, okay. That's the, that, that's just the German uh, phrase. That's all that is. You don't even know what that means, do you? I do. It means S H I blank in German. I know what it is. The Rangers, meanwhile, my uh, hometown team, won, uh, uh, beat the Boston Brewers. The Devils in are your hometown. Game team. seven. That was a beat down. Five I mean, nothing. they didn't beat the Bruins. They beat the Capitals. Now they're, play, now they're playing the Bruins. They're going to face the Bruins. Um, and you're right. I do like the New Jersey Devils. There's only one New Jersey team. Left sports team left, so I have to support them. But I'm not going to be afraid to say, when, since the Devils are out, I'm obviously I'm going to pull for the Rangers. I think that's Classy. fair. Classy. It's just fair, unless the Bruins beat them, and after the Boston tragedy and everything, I'm going to root for the Boston Bruins. So really, it's it's about whoever wins is who you who like. I'm, yeah, that's who I'm going to root for. So right now, I'm rooting for the Rangers. I want that on the record. Unless the Bruins say take like a two games to one lead, I will be then rooting for the Boston Bruins. I want to make that clear. You'll give up on the Rangers even before the series is over. <laughs> Are you going to watch any hockey? I, I watched Game Seven. Oh yeah, it was good. It's exciting. I'll tell you what, hockey is a wonderfully exciting as heck sport. Problem is, you know, just like NBA basketball, too long. 
And I know people are going to say, Davey Mack, you're a baseball fan. How can you say anything's too long? It, baseball's its own animal. It's been that long for years and years and years and years. It's been that long. It's been, you know, a marathon. They play every day. What's so funny, Roy? No, nothing. It's long. <laughs> it's long. Oh, Dude. Roy. What are you laughing at? You stoned? It's nothing, man. Are you stoned? No, not at all. You know, the man. baseball season. Yeah, it's long. I didn't say Roy Schaefer's big black dick is that long. <laughs> it's black? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> what? <Anyway. laughs> what the hell? Uh but uh, yeah, I mean, you don't. St- I don't start watching hockey until the playoffs. But it, uh, <laughs> I'm now, you know, it, it's a great sport. I can understand why people love it so much. Problem is, like I said before, hockey's shot themselves in the foot. Four strikes in 16 years is totally unacceptable. And the worst mistake they ever made was, even if ESPN offered less money, you stay with ESPN. You don't. Uh, you don't get put on what was Spike and Outdoor now it's channel n- and yeah, now it's NBC Sports Channel, which is better. But a lot of people don't have NBC Sports Channel or don't know no. where the NBC Sports Channel is you on the TV. You have to search it out. Yeah, it's like I don't know, in Time Warner, it's like four hundred thirty-seven or something. Yeah, it's, 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 that is a huge, it's, nothing's huge, around it. Huge mistake. You keep you keep hockey right there on ESPN where it's front and center because the problem with ESPN is they are dishonest and corrupt. You know, and, and your cable package you pay the they cost the most. Like your cable package ESPN? costs a certain amount of money. ESPN channels, yeah, they are the highest. This is my point. Cost the channel, and furthermore, ridiculous. When ESPN had hockey. They were leading off all sports centers with hockey. It was this and hockey that and Barry Melrose and blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, you know, they give Barry Melrose about 30 seconds and then tell him and his oiled up mullet to get the hell out of the studio. (laughs) I'm sorry, but I love me some Barry Melrose. Hey. They should just take him out and shoot him in the head. Whoa. And not in the back of the head, in the face. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Closed casket. You know, you kind of look like Barry Melrose a little bit. (laughs) Then you should take me out and shoot me in the face. I think Pepper and Barry Melrose could be just, doppelgangers. Just put me down, for the love of God. You have to start uh, letting your hair be more gray. Stop dyeing your hair. Everyone knows <laughs> Eugene Simmons it. <laughs> Everyone knows it's a dye job on Pepper. I, no, I do yeah, have seriously. gray and white yeah. hair. Uh, well, but let the gray come out more, and then you would officially look like Barry Melrose. Right, I'll, I know it's always been a dream of yours. I'll stop using Just For Men. <laughs> do you put it on your beard, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just start using Touch of Gray. Should I? Yeah. All right. It gives Touch you that mature. Look. I will get by. Yeah. I will get by. I will survive. That's pretty good, Jerry. Yeah. Well, it don't call me go. He'll say we got to go. And ran the wet to no touch of gray. I need chalk dust. Then to do some chalk dust. And that's a song by I fear. But Roy Schaefer's still playing Touch of Grey. <laughs> I will get by. Maze. I will get by. I will survive. How come they don't have more pot holidays like 420? You'd think the potheads would be all over that. You, only got, you got one. I mean, alcohol's the king of random holidays where you got Cinco de Mayo and um, Christmas. Day. Thanksgiving is New a Year's drinking Eve. holiday. Saint New Pat. Year's Eve. St. Pat's. Pat's. Thanksgiving definitely drinking. Yeah, New Year's Eve definitely Puerto drinking. Puerto Rican Day Parade. Puerto Rican Memorial Day. Big time. Labor Day. Memorial Day. Day Labor Day. July 4th. Arbor Day. Independence Day. But I guess hey, <laughs> Americans love a, a reason to drink is the whole point. Earth Day. Uh, the weekend. Uh, Groundhog's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get screwed up and watch the Groundhog's Day Marathon on TNT, dude. Ma- Martin, Martin Luther King. Yeah, <laughs> Martin Luther King. You know what I thought was chintzy uh, and, and not funny is the independent film channel, I think it was. It was either that or Sundance. For Mother's Day, had a Mommy Dearest Marathon. So yeah. now I saw that. Now that's what we have to do is everything. The Groundhog Day thing makes sense, but you know, Christmas Story started. It TNT. all started with Christmas Story. It's a TBS. I don't know. TBS. TBS. And now Mommy Dearest is going to be the Mother's Day Marathon. They all, whoever came up with the all day Christmas Story, brilliant, brilliant idea. Yeah, but Christmas is different. You know, you can leave oh, no. that on the loop. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine. Go about your business. Groundhog Day. I'm not leaving. I, and You're I at love work. Groundhog You're Day. At work. Yeah, I know. And the mommy dearest thing, I didn't even find that funny. I know that they were probably doing it tongue in cheek, but I'm not That's gonna have the uh, wire sad. hangers. It's yeah, I'm not having scary. some crazy ass actress bitch beat some little blonde whoa, idiot. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, my hey, goddamn whoa, TV! Whoa, all right, whoa. Hey, uh, 
Listen, I'm so stressed out, I need a vacation from the next show. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, okay? That's all I'm saying, man. Well, I found out long ago. Oh, oh, oh. Mommy dearest beat that chair. Oh, oh, oh. The holiday road. Time to go. Let's go home. Oh, thank God. What's wrong with you, Roy? I love these t-shirts. Thank you, Giant Russo. Thank you, Giant Russo. It's uh, russo.bigcartel.com. That's one plug. They come out Friday. Listen to Davey Mac and Pepper and all the other BS on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. It's the Davey Mac Sports Program XL. Saturdays, 7 Eastern <laughs> on the Opie and Anthony channel. And get your Davey Mac movie-thon tickets immediately. June 18th, get them now. You can get them at Facebook slash East Side Dave or Twitter at East Side Dave or thestandnyc.com and you click on the show's link and boom, 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 June 18th. All right? For the Davey Mac Sports Program, it's Davey Mac, yeah. it's Pepper, yeah. it's Sean O, it's Roy Chafer. Yeah. Good night! Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you.